Hey lovelies and welcome back to the channel. So today I've just got a quick video for you. Um, this is a, a page in my daily journal. Now if you've watched some of my videos in the past you may have heard me mention that I'm using a junk journal for my day-to-day -day journaling things that I do. I've, I've kept a journal for years um, and normally it's just a sort of like a, a date or page calendar. This year I decided to do something a bit different and um, use some junk journals that I have and you know that I will make. So it's, I'm having a lot of fun with it lately. I love the different textures and the different pages and things. And I'm also branching out a bit and I'm not just journaling in my journal. I'm adding photos, um, mini scrapbook pages and like today, um, like a mini art journal page. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. So this is probably one of my most enjoyable activities. It's one of those things that you can do. It doesn't take long to do. Um, it's just a you know a page a day in my daily journal. Granted, I don't always do a page a day. Sometimes you know I can I catch up later at the end of the week. But it's a good way to if you just feel like doing something creative but don't want to get out all your scrapbooking supplies or don't really feel like doing a full layout or a full page art journal page. This I find lets me be a bit creative but doesn't take me a big amount of time to do where I just don't have the time to sit and do it all. So it's sort of like a happy medium. So I have a lot of fun with this. So I'm just painting my page now. I've just put some baking paper under it so it doesn't transfer to the rest of my journal. Um, the purpose of this page was I, I just wanted to vent. I was having a really crappy weekend and I just wanted to vent and just write a whole bunch of nonsense on the page. But I didn't exactly want to leave that there for anyone to read, you know, if they come across my journal or something. So what I planned to do was um, cover most of it up with black paint. Now, I'm sure you've seen the technique where a silhouette is put over a pretty background and then it's the rest of it's all blacked out. Well, that's what I wanted to do. So I'm, I'm starting with my background. I'm making my background. I've gone for um, a blue and I think it's a teal. Just put the paint down. My Dolusions paints are my favourite paints to use. They dry really quick. And then I'm just using some stencils just to give that background a bit of texture. And then what I'm going to do is once that's dry, I'm going to write my journaling over it as messy as I can. So it's mostly incoherent. But I was impatient. I killed two of my favourite paint pens because I didn't wait for the paint to dry long enough. I, I'm an impatient person. I'm a horribly impatient crafter. And I I dried it with my heat gun but it needed to sit longer and I was just in too much of a hurry. I did try to start my journaling and yeah I failed. I killed two of my favourite paint pens. So this is the next day and I have gone and got my brush marker. It, as you can see it's well and truly dry now. And I'm just scribbling you know what I wanted to write. I'm scribbling it messy on purpose trying to make it as unreadable as possible. And yeah, once I'm done with that, I'm going to start on my silhouette. Now, I have um, some stencils and it's just a, a silhouette figure and then I'm just going to place that down and just apply black paint over the top. And then I'm just going to black out the rest of the page. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to black out the whole thing because I thought it's a waste of a really pretty background, but then I thought, yeah... That's the whole purpose of this. I just wanted to, to get all these words on a page, but I didn't really want them for anyone to read, so I wanted to cover it up. But I wanted to use the silhouette as sort of a, you know, um, sort of like a an image of, of me trying to keep all this in. So all these words then become inside this figure, and it's like, you know, these words are what this person is trying to say. Or I think more to the point of trying to, to hold in and keep to themselves, I guess, really. Well, that's what I was going for anyway. So once I've, you know, covered my background, I have tried to take a little of the black off just so you can see a bit of that blue, but in the end I'm not too fussed with it. I like how it turned out. And while I'm at it, I go through my stash and I find some awesome tiny word stickers that I have. Now, they're not your cheery, happy, everyday <laughs> uh, tiny words. They're um, a really good set. They've got some really good phrases on here. And I went with um, a few explicit ones that I was quite happy with that I felt summed up the page quite well. And you'll be able to see those better in the photo at the end of the video. But when I saw them, I thought, you know it's perfect for this page because I've got all this out, I've vented it and now it's time for me to 
put it behind me and move forward. <laughs> so I really wanted to just add a bit more um, pop of color to this. I love bright colors when they're with black. I love that that pop of bright color. So I get the blue and I go around the edge um, of the page to give it a nice lay, um, a, a border. And as you can see, these paints work beautifully over darker colors. They just pop straight off. Once the, the base is dry, they don't blend they yeah they just pop straight off that background and I really love that I'm also going to add some splatters just to give it a bit more pop of color so I've just used a little bit put on my craft sheet I have added a bit of water just to make it a little more fluid but it, I don't want to add too much because I don't want it to be translucent and then that's it for my page I hope you've enjoyed the video I sure enjoyed making this page it was very therapeutic and uh, so I'll see you later in the week for more videos thanks for watching bye